careful, carefully, bad, badly, heavy, heavily, terrible, terribly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sound words with L-Y are adjective and not adverbs. So, for example, friendly, lively, elderly, lonely, and lovely, they are adjectives. So, uh, for example, Sam is a careful driver. So, careful is an adjective, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sam drove carefully, adverb, yeah? Along the narrow road. And we don't say careful. Another example. Mm -hmm. So with a verb, you need an adverb. With a noun, driver, you need an adjective, yeah? Mm -hmm. We didn't go out because of the heavy rain. No salimo, culpa, la lluvia, fuerte, yeah? Mm -hmm. We didn't go out because it was raining heavily yeah so let's compare she speaks perfect english so adjective now perfect english but she speaks english perfectly yeah okay you could also combine an adverb with an adjective so for example you could say reasonably cheap Terribly sorry, incredibly quickly. Yeah? Even two adverbs are possible. Yeah? Eh, Javi, mm -hmm. what does terribly, terribly, terribly eh, eh, mean? Me? Terriblemente. Terriblemente. Mm -hmm. Pero ter terrible no era otra. Ter otra, otra terrible de... es terrible. Terribly, terriblemente. Entonces aquí se le quita la e. Y se añade el y, ¿no? so, terrible, terribly. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So terrible, terribly. Yeah? Yeah? ¿Esa yeah. era tu pregunta, sí? No, eh, pensaba, I think the, the, the means is different. Oh, ok. So terrible is like terrible. And terribly, terriblemente. Yeah? Okay. ok, let's take a look at some examples. It's a reasonably cheap restaurant and the food is extremely good. Por cierto, esta de aquí no se pronuncia. Esta es Ellie, cuando termina así. La esa no se pronuncia. Uh, so, extremely. Yeah? Extremely. Extremely. Yeah. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to push you. No, tení, no quería empujarte. Yeah? No tenía la intención de empujar. I didn't mean to push you. Maria learns languages incredibly quickly. Yeah? The exam was surprisingly easy. More example. Two people were seriously injured in the accident. Yeah? Two, mm -hmm. The conference was badly organized. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's let me take out the pen. Um, all right, we're gonna do an exercise. So you need to give me an adverb, okay? So you have the first letters of the adverb, so you can guess. So for example, we didn't, sorry about it. So we didn't go out because it was raining heavily. Number two. I have no problem find, finding a place mm -hmm. to live, to live. Live. Uh, live or live? Live, live. Mm -hmm. I found a flag quite... Uh, found, no for, found. Mm -hmm. Found, found. Uh, uh, easily. Easily, good. So easy, easily. Mm -hmm. easy. Number, mm -hmm. Number three. We had to wait a long time, but we didn't complain. We waited. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Pa 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 patiently. Okay, patiently. Patiently. Patient. So patience, patiently. So patient, yeah, patient, patiently. Yeah. Patiently. Patiently. Mm -hmm. Four. Uh, nobody knew, now knew, knew, uh, knew, knew, knew. Nobody knew that Simon was Simon. Simon mm -hmm. uh, was was coming to see us. He arrived. Unes, un, Annex, unexpectedly. 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 So expect. Mm. I don't know, expect. Nice. Expect. Mm. Like this. Sorry. So expect, uh, esperar, no, Espera, tener expectativa, unexpectedly, sin, no. sin ser esperado, llegó inesperadamente, unexpectedly, yeah. he arrived unexpectedly, 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 eh, yeah. no sería así la, el la C, uh, wait a moment, let me check the spelling, I'm gonna check, okay? Unexpected. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. Unexpectedly, okay? Unexpectedly. Unexpected. Uh, unex unexpected. Unexpected. Like this. Unexpectedly. Okay? Mm -hmm. Fine. My keeps. My kids uh, fit by playing tennis regularly. Perfect, regularly. Mm -hmm. Six. I don't speak French very well, but I can understand uh, perfectly. Perfect, if, yes. Mm -hmm. Perfectly if people speak uh, slowly and. Mm -hmm. uh, Clearly. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Clear. Clearly. Clearly. Yeah. Good. Very good. All right. We're gonna... Okay, we're going to practice here. So you have uh, the adjective and the adverb, okay? Mm -hmm. So you have to choose. So Sam drove mm -hmm. carefully along the narrow road. Number two. Okay, what's the behave? Behaving. Se comportó. Behave. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you behave very uh, selfish. Selfishly. Selfishly. Uh, egoistamente. So self is egoista, egoistamente. Yeah. Selfishly. So you behave selfishly. Why selfishly? Because you have an ad a verb here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Three. Uh, the weather changed uh, suddenly. Exactly. So sudden, repentino, suddenly, repentinamente. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Four. There was a sudden change mm -hmm. in the weather. Mm -hmm. So sudden change in the weather. Perfect. Five. Live, uh, fell and hurt herself. herself. Mm -hmm. Hurt herself, really. Really uh, badly. Perfect. So Liz fell, se cayó. Lisa, Liz fell and hurt herself really badly. Se hizo mucho daño. Six. I think I have flu. Mm -hmm. I feel uh, awfully. Awfully, good. So awful means uh, terrible. Awfully, terribly. Yeah. Seven. Uh, Tanya mm -hmm. is uh, terribly. Perfect. Terribly upset about losing her job. Losing. Losing. Lo losing. So Tanya is terribly upset about losing her job. Mm -hmm. Eight. I don't remember upset. upset okay, yeah. upset is like sad and mad. Yeah, sad. Very, very sad. 
Pensado. Reacción, no, no, sad, sad, triste, muy triste, muy molesto. Sí. Uh -huh. Eight. I could uh, sit in this chair all day. Chair, It's... chair, chair. Chair, chair. Uh -huh. All day is very comfortable. Comfortable, no. We don't really say comfortable, we say comfortable. Eso, Com comfortable. comfortable. So, comfortable, comfortably. Comfortable, comfortably. Esta parte media no se pronuncia, ¿vale? Comfortable, comfortably. Comfortably. Comfortable, comfortably. Nine. I explain everything. No, every, uh, no, every, everything. Every, everything, everything, as clearly, clearly, mm -hmm. uh, as a, a, a code. Could, could. I could, I could. I explained everything as clearly as I could. Mm -hmm. Ten. Be careful. Eh, on that ladder. 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 Mm -hmm. ladder. It doesn't look very eh, safely. 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 Sa safely. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No parece muy. Uh, wait a moment. No, no, no. Actually, this is safe. It doesn't look very safe. You need an adjective. Okay, safely you can use it with a verb. So drive safely, for example, yeah? Safely sería con seguridad, yeah? Seguramente. Eleven. Had a good trip. Had a trip. Had a good trip. And I hope you have a... Uh, safe journey. Journey. Yeah. I hope you have a safe journey. Mm -hmm. So have a good trip. Tengo un buen viaje. Espero que tenga una un trayecto seguro. Mhm. Mhm. I'm glad you had a good trip and got home. Uh, Yes, uh, uh, safe. Clear. Safe, safely. Yeah, okay. uh, get, get safely. Yeah, get home safely. Yeah. Safely, safely, safely. Okay. Do you understand everything here? Yes. No problem. Ladder, for uh, example. La, la, the, the uh, ladder. I don't understand ladder. 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 Let's so ladder is this. This is a ladder, okay? Mm. Una escalera, pero de, de mano, no de, de la casa. A ladder. Yeah? Okay. Uh, okay, good job. All right. Eh, sorry, Javi. Eh, mm -hmm. In the sentence 12, eh, I'm glad. Estoy contento. Estoy contento. Yo estoy contento. Sí. Estoy contento que hayas tenido un buen viaje y que hayas llegado a casa con seguridad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, we're going to talk about uh, a few of these that are a little bit tricky. So let's start about good and well. So basically, good. Eh, Bueno, buena. Well, bien. As simple as that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, for example, your English is good. You speak English well. So, adjective, adverb. That's basically the difference. Yeah? Sophie is a good pianist. Sophie plays the piano well. However, however, in English, when we use the verb of motion, 
we usually say for example you look good or I feel good or I smell good yeah with verb of uh, perception we don't really say well we say good yeah mm -hmm. now um, you could also use well with uh, past participles to form new adjectives. So, for example, you could say well known, well educated, well paid, well behaved. For example, Sophie's father is a well known writer, un escritor bien conocido, o muy conocido. Okay, well could also be an adjective by means in good health. Estoy bien, no? Estoy bien. I'm well. However, it's very common in English to also say I'm good. So it's very, very common in English when you ask, how are you? You could say, I'm good. It's also okay, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, okay, some words above adjective and adverb. So this is the case of fast, hard, and late. So these three words, they are both adjective and adverb. So we don't really say fastly or hardly or lately, at least with these ideas. So Darren is a fast runner, but Darren can run fast. No difference, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's hard to find a job right now. Kate works hard, yeah? Sorry I'm late. I got up late. Now, you have the word lately, but lately means something different. It means recently, for example. Have you seen Kate lately? Have you seen Kate ultimamente? It has nothing to do with late, yeah? You also have the word hardly, okay? But again, hardly has nothing to do with hard. It's a different word. So hardly means very little, almost nothing. Yeah. For example, Sarah wasn't very friendly at the party. She hardly spoke to me. Apenas me habló. We've only met once or twice. We hardly know each other. Apenas nos conocemos. El uno al otro, ¿no? Um, okay, another one. Um, your writing is terrible. I can hardly read it. Yeah? My leg was hurting. I could hardly walk. Yeah? Any question about this? No. Okay, let's move on. You could also combine hardly with some other words. So, for example, hardly any, hardly anybody, hardly anything. Hardly ever, almost never, yeah? For example, I nearly always, almost, yeah, casi, I love him. I nearly always at home in the evenings. I hardly ever go out. Casi nunca salgo. Yeah? Okay, let's practice this. So we have good and well. So, I play tennis, but I'm not very good. Number two. Joe's mm -hmm. exam result result were very, result, result, were very uh, uh, well. Good. Yeah? Joe's exam results were very good. Yeah? Do you understand why? Uh, well, uh, bien, no? No, el resultado fue bueno. Eso sí, bueno. No, el eso. resultado fue bien, no. no. Three, <laughs> three. Joe did eh, uh, uh, well in his mm -hmm. exam. Mm -hmm. So Joe did well in his exams. Mm -hmm. Four. Uh, I didn't sleep well last night. Perfect. Five. I like your hat. It looks 
Uh, uh, well, on you. Okay, this is one of those exceptions. We always say it looks good on you. Ah, looks yes, yes, yes. Te, yeah. te queda bien, ¿no? Te queda bien. Mm. Se ve bien contigo, literalmente. ¿no? It looks good on you. Mm -hmm. So remember, with look, feel, uh, smell, or taste, este tipo de verbo de percepción. Mm -hmm. Recuerda la canción. I feel good. ¿Vale? Six. Okay. Six. Can you speak up? Mm -hmm. I can hear you very... I can... Uh, very well. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you very well. Mm -hmm. Seven. I met her a few a few times, but I don't know her. Uh, uh, well. Mm -hmm. No la conozco bien. ¿eh? Me he contado con ella unas pocas veces, pero no la conozco bien. Mm -hmm. Eight. Uh, Lucy speaks German uh, well. Mm -hmm. She's good at, at language. Yes, languages. Mm -hmm. Languages. Languages. Good. All right. Mm. No. Which is right? So you have to give me the right option. Okay. So, for example, oops, what was that? Uh, no. Sorry. No. So, I'm tired because I've been working hard. Está trabajando mucho. Estoy cansado está trabajando mucho. Number two. I wasn't in a hurry, so I was walking uh, slowly. Perfect. So, I wasn't in a hurry, not any please. Three. I haven't been to the cinema uh, late. Late. Lately. Ultimamente. No tiene nada que ver con tarde. Está. To get tarde, right? So, I have been mm. to the cinema lately. Four. Four. Slow down. Down. You're... Slow down. Slow uh, down. Slow down. Slow down. Mm -hmm. You're walking to. No, walking, no. Record the story. Walking. 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 Walking, walking. Mm -hmm. walking to. To. Fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the difference between fast and quick? Lo otro se traduce igual en español, ¿no? Lo otro significa rápido. Fast está relacionado con la velocidad. Quick es con el modo que tú haces algo. ¿Vale? Por eso aquí es fast. ¿Vale? Five. Eh, I tried. Tried. I tried. Uh, I tried hard to remember, mm -hmm. story, but I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Lo intenté con toda mi fuerza. I tried hard. Yeah? I tried hard to remember her name, but I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Six. This quote uh -uh. is pro this oh, code. No. Ah, okay. <laughs> this code. This code. Is practically practically. Vale, la yeah. esa, cómetela. Practically, practically, practically. Exactly. And used. And used. And used. And used. And used. Mm -hmm. I I hard run run it. Hardly, actually, because what you mean is, apenas lo, me lo he puesto. I hardly worn it. So this code is practically unused. I've hardly worn it. Mm -hmm. I hardly worn it. Mm -hmm. Seven. 
Eh, y eso significa a, apenas me lo he puesto. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Recuerda que este verbo wear es el participio, ¿vale? Wear, wear, wear. ¿eh? Recuerda el verbo, ¿no? Wear, wear, sí, sí. wear. Uh -huh. yes. Ok. Eh... La, la, Laura is a good tennis player. She hits the, the ball very eh, eh, hardly. Hard. Okay, remember. Hard y hardly son dos palabras totalmente diferentes en inglés. No tiene nada que ver. Hard en español puede traducir de varias formas. O duro. O mucho, uh -huh. o con mucha intensidad, ¿vale? Depende del contexto. Por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, I hit the ball hard, con fuerza. Uh -huh. No hardly, hardly sería apenas. Y no lo pondríamos aquí al final, ¿vale? Se pone delante del verbo. No. Eight. It's really, really dark in here. I here, can... here, here, here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really dark in here. I can hardly see. Perfect. I can hardly see. Apenas puedo ver. Mm -hmm. Nine. Ben is going to run a marathon. Marathon. He's been... marathon. Marathon. Mm -hmm. marathon. Marathon. He's been he's been training uh, hard. Perfect. Okay. Good job. We're gonna watch. Wait a moment. I'm gonna share the screen one more time. There you are. Uh, perfect. So I wanna watch um, which one? This one first. So we're gonna watch uh, this video here mm -hmm. with the subtitles. Uh, sorry. Now, okay. If it's a message from the tourism board of Africa. Okay, is the sound clear? Sí. Eh, eh, no, eh, no se oye claro, no. Espérate, voy a poner otra vez. If it's a message from the tourism board of Africa. No, no se escucha claro, ¿no? No. Espérate. Entonces voy a cambiar. Este se escucha el otro más claro. Espérate. Voy a quitar esto. Creo que es por esto. Vale. Vale. Ok, ok. Um, from... Ok, so I'm gonna play another one. Let's see. Yeah. Is that clear? No, it's bad. No. It's very bad. Why? Voy a cargar otra vez. Así para por eso. No. Vale, no. 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 Qué raro. El otro sí se escuchaba bien, ¿no? El de first eh, video, eh, uh -huh. medium. Mm. Sí, ¿no? Este se escucha fatal. Este no se puede entender. ¿Mejor ahora? Yes. Sí, sí, dejándolo cargar se escucha algo mejor porque... No, 
Mm. No, it's not good. It's really, really bad. Okay, don't worry. We're going to do something different then. Uh, the last thing. Right, the Puerto Paso of it in Tosa. Okay. Uh, much better like this. So we're going to keep on working grammar then. Um, all right. Halianzi, Halian. No, we're going to try something different. Okay, let's talk about these two little words. We use this one a lot in English as well, yeah? So and such. Lo vas a ver muchísimo. Okay. Eh, aquí solamente lo vamos a ver con el sentido de tan para dar énfasis, ¿vale? Lo digo porque tiene más sentido. So. Uh, what's the difference between so and such? En español voy a decir tan, siempre tan, tan bonito, tan guapo, tan. In English, mm -hmm. however, you sometimes say so and such. Okay? So when do you use one or the other? Easy. You're going to use this when you only have an adverb or an adjective. Only an adverb or an adjective. For example, so stupid, so quick, so nice, so quickly, so beautiful, so expensive. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, with such, you need at least a noun. It could be a noun with an adjective, but you always need a noun. For example, such a story, such people. But you could also say such nice people, such expensive car such she's such a beautiful woman okay you can also say such a yeah such a beautiful it, woman yeah it, it was that such a, a story tan tan una historia o como se... such a story que que, que historia también significa que que historia such people que gente for example mm. Let me give you a few examples. I didn't like the book. It was such a stupid story. Yeah. Um, um, such a stupid story. Such, a, such a nice people, for example. Um, I like Liz and Joe. They are such nice people. Yeah. Okay, let's see more examples. I had a busy day. I'm so tired. To turn cancer. It's difficult to understand him. He talks so quietly. Muy calladito, ¿no? I was so tired that I fell asleep in the armchair. Me quedé frito. Esto lo hemos visto en el video, ¿no? Fell asleep. En el eh, sillón, armchair. Yeah? Or I was so tired I fell asleep. Esto de aquí abajo más común. Normalmente esto se omite. ¿eh? Um, ok, let's take a look at the other one. We had a great trip. We had such a good time. Vale. To have a good time significa pasárselo bien. ¿Ya? Literalmente tener un buen tiempo. Tuve un, un viaje fantástico. Nos pasamos tan bien. ¿Eh? Another example. You always think good things are going to happen. You're such an optimist. Yeah. Tú eres tan optimista. Okay, another example. It was such a nice weather that we spent the whole day on the beach. Irlande. Esto se suele omitir. Entonces también puede decir. It was such a nice weather we spent the whole day on the beach. Fácil, ¿no? Más o menos. Um, okay, more example. Somebody told me the house was built a hundred years ago. I didn't realize it was so old. I didn't realize it was such an old house. Fíjate que se pone el artículo aquí. Such an old house. Y esto se une al hablar, ¿no? Such an old house. You know it's not true. How can you say such a thing? ¿Cómo puede decir tal cosa? So, aquí significa así. ¿Cómo puede decir una cosa así? ¿Vale? 
Uh, también se puede decir no such blah, 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 blah. For example, you won't find the word bleed in the dictionary. There's no such word. No existe tal palabra. Okay. Uh, more expressions. So long. Tanto tiempo. Right? Recuerda que long literalmente significa largo, pero se usa mucho con el sentido de tiempo. Tiempo muy largo. I haven't seen her for so long. I forgot what she looks like. No he visto tanto tiempo que se me olvidó qué pinta tiene. You could also say this. This is the same. Such a long time. I haven't seen her. I haven't seen her for such a long time. Okay, so far. Uh, Tan lejos. Eh, eh, Javi, I don't understand eh, the sentence. I, have, I haven't seen her for such, such a long time. Eh, es lo mismo que este. Exactamente igual. Significado es igual. Mucho tiempo. Por tanto tiempo. Such a long time, so long, son sinónimo. Uh -huh. vale. So far. Este aquí tiene dos significados. So far, tan lejos. Pero también te voy a enseñar otra frase que se usa mucho. También lo voy a escuchar mucho. So far, so good. Incluso solo, so far. Voy a poner aquí al lado. So far. Ah, so far también se usa con el sentido de hasta ahora. Hasta este momento. Entonces, tú puedes decir, por ejemplo, so far, I, I didn't finish the work, for example. Pero también se usa mucho la expresión, so far, so good. Por ahora, todo bien. Incluso puedes preguntarle, so far, so good. Por ahora, todo bien. So far, so good. Anyway. Uh, so, so far, two minutes. Tan lejos o hasta ahora. So, I didn't know it was so far. Such a long way, exactamente lo mismo. So far, yeah? Tan lejos. So much, so many. Tanto. Lo dos significa tanto. Cuidado. So much para incontables. So many para contables, ¿vale? So we say so many people, so much traffic, so much money, so many mm, houses, ¿ya? Yeah? Vale, y este te va a gustar. Porque hay uno que lo puedo usar para todo. Such a lot. Este lo puedo usar para contable e incontable. Such a lot of people, such a lot of money, such a lot of uh, work, such a lot of information. Exactamente lo mismo. Okay, any question? No. Okay. Vale, vamos a aprender. So, such is such a. Vale. It was a great holiday. We had such a good time. ¿Qué significa esto? Nosotros tuvimos un buen tiempo. Vacaciones increíbles. Nosotros nos lo pasamos muy bien. Ah. Nos lo pasamos tan bien. ¿Yeah? No sé si tenemos un buen tiempo. Eso no tiene sentido. Number two. Uh, everything is uh, so expensive these uh -huh. days, isn't it? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Three. Uh, he always looks good. He wears uh, mm -hmm. he wears uh, uh, so nice, nice clothes. Such nice clothes. Vale, con los plurales siempre decimos such. Ya está, ¿vale? Four. I couldn't believe uh, the news. It was 
such so such a shock such a shock such a shock it was such a shock fue fue un choque no me quedé en shock it was such a shock yeah five what a nice garden what a nice garden mm -hmm. what a nice garden what a nice garden uh, these are uh, so lovely flowers. Flower. No. Such lovely flowers. These are such lovely flowers. Six. Eh, pero eh, such no iba con con un Pardon? nombre. Sí, flowers. Y lovely no es un adverbio. Sí, o sea, para que yo decir so, solo tengo que tener adverbio o adjetivo, nada de nombres. Si hay un nombre ya no puedo decir so. ¿sí? Vale, en este vale. caso, aunque yo tenga lovely, tengo flowers, y flowers es un nombre. ¿sí? Pensaba so. que eso eh, iba eh, después siempre en un adjetivo o un adverbio. Solo. Eh, vamos. No, 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 no. Entonces, so, adjetivo solo o adverbio. Y such, cuando hay un nombre... Aunque tenga adjetivo de antes, da igual, o lo que tenga. Six. The party was great. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. 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 Mm -hmm. It was. Eh, es, so saying, you, you couldn't con. No. Eh, such. Such. Such saying. Such a shame. It was such a shame you couldn't come. You understand this sentence? No. no I, okay. Shame and no. lastima o vergüenza. It was such a shame you couldn't come. Que lastima que no pudiste venir. Uh -huh. Entonces, fíjate, so, es such, es such, es para poner énfasis. A veces en español decimos venudo, vaya, ok. ¿sí? En inglés se usa mucho esto. For example, oh, it's such a it's such lovely weather. It's she's so beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven. It was glad glad uh, to see that he looked uh, so well after mm -hmm. his recent illness. Recent, 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 recent. Mm -hmm. Eight. I had to go. I didn't release. Realize. Realize, 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 it was uh, so late. Mm -hmm. Nine. Why, da, uh, why does it always take you uh, such a long time? Such a long time. To mm -hmm. get ready. Ready. Mm -hmm. Ten. Everything went wrong. Wrong. Uh, wrong. Wrong, wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a uh, such uh, such a bad no such luck. bad luck. Sí, ah, ¿no? Porque es incontable. We had such bad luck. Okay, uh, can you read all of this again one more time? Okay. It was a great holiday. We had such a good time. Pero me lo está preguntando o me lo está diciendo. No me preguntes. We had such a good time. ¿Ok? We had such a good time. Vale. Nos lo pasemos muy bien. Mm -hmm. Two. Uh, everything is, is so expensive these days, isn't it? Isn't it. Abajo. Isn't it. Isn't it. Sí. Vale. ¿Esto lo entiendes? ¿Por qué se hace? Esto, de... Esto es como una preguntilla que se hace en inglés. Para, que, para dar carrete, para que la, el otro diga sí, sí, ¿vale? Entonces, realmente no te estoy preguntando nada, solamente que me lo, que me lo confirmes lo que te digo. Solo le dirías así. Everything is so expensive these days, isn't it? ¿Vale? Isn't it? Y esto se usa muchísimo en inglés, ¿vale? Isn't it? ¿Verdad? Eso sería como nuestro, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿Sí o no? Esto sería este, dicen. 
three. Mm -hmm. He always looks good. He wears such nice, nice clothes. Mm -hmm. Four. I couldn't believe the news. It was such a shock. Mm -hmm. What an is what an anise garden? Uh -uh. Nice. Nice. What a nice, what a nice garden. What a nice garden. What a nice garden. What a nice garden. Yeah. What a nice mm -hmm. garden. No, no preguntes. What garden. a nice garden. <laughs> what a nice garden. Mm -hmm. What a nice garden. Uh, this, these are such lovely flowers. Flowers, Fla oh, oh, oh. flowers, flowers, Fla mm -hmm. flowers, flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, the party was great. It was such a shame you couldn't come. It was such a shame you couldn't come. Do you remember what it means? Uh, it was... it was such a shame. Or maybe it's a what a shame. What a shame. So so much Seven. It was glad to see that he look, 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 mm -hmm. it, or look, look it, no, looked, look, look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So well, after he recent, recent, in recent, 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 mm -hmm. recent, recent illness. Mm -hmm. Eight. I had, I had to go. I didn't realize it was so late. Okay, realize. She said if you can realize. Uh, realize. Uh, uh, realize. Real, real, re... Realizar, no. No, no. No es realizar. Darse cuenta. Darse, Darse cuenta. cuenta. Uh -huh. No realizar, ¿vale? I didn't realize it was so late. No me di cuenta que era tan tarde. Darse uh -huh. cuenta. Nine. Why does it always take you such a long, long time to be ready? Such a long time, such a long time. Okay. Such a long time to be ready. Yo podría también decir so long. ¿Vale? Puedo decir los dos. Such a long time or so long. Mm -hmm. So why does it always take you such a long time to get ready? ¿Qué significa esta frase? Eh, ¿Por qué no siempre... ¿Por qué siempre? ¿Por qué siempre? Eh... Vale, esto, no. esto se lo puede decir a una mujer. <ríe> ¿Por qué siempre tarda tanto en prepararte? ¿Vale? To take time. Vale, take, cuando hablamos de time, significa tomar tiempo. ¿Vale? Uh -huh. Why does it always take you such a long time to get ready? Prepararse, ¿sí? Y fíjate que en este caso eh, se usa Sacha Lontan para poner todavía más énfasis. Suena como que tarda muchísimo. ¿Vale? En lugar de decir so long, such a long time. Suena todavía más, más enfático. Uh -huh. Ten. Everything went wrong. 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 No, wrong. La W nada. O si no estuviera. Wrong. Everything wrong. went wrong. Mm -hmm. Everything went wrong. We had such bad luck. We had such bad luck. Mm -hmm. Luck no, no se le pone artículo porque es incontable. ¿Vale? Entonces se pone such, solo such cuando es plural o cuando es un incontable, como luck, o weather, o, o cosas así, ¿no? Um, este termina de por ahí. Uno rapidito. Vale, vamos a decir tan alto, tan grande, tan lo que sea. Con esta frase, ¿no? Por ejemplo. It was such a beautiful day. Vale. Vamos a hacer solo esto aquí, sin tener que poner la frase. Por ejemplo, esta aquí. The music was... ¿Qué diría ahora? The music, estoy aquí, ¿vale? The music ¿Sí? was. Ah, me tengo que eh, decir so o such, ¿vale? Eh, eh, so. 
so loud. The music mm. was so loud. Música estaba tan alto. Ok, esta de aquí. Eh, This one. Eh, I had a sat. sat mm -hmm. I had sat a big breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast. Bre I had such a big breakfast. Mm -hmm. This one. Eh, the bar, the bar, eh, was, so, was, 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 was so heavy. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. It was, eh, eh, it was such, such a horrible weather. Vale, such a, no, such, solo such. So, it was such horrible weather. Weather es incontable, ¿vale? It was such horrible weather. O sea, eh, la A se pone solo con contables. Sí, contable y singular. Si es que está en estas dos condiciones. Ok, this one. Contable y singular. Uh -huh. Con el A. Vale. Uh -huh. eh, it was... Ah, eh, digo... I was... Eh, so, so surprised. Surprised, yeah. Uh -huh. This one. I have got. I've uh, got. Okay, I've got. I, I, I got. I got. Uh, mm -hmm. Such a lot to do. I got such a lot to do. Mm -hmm. This one. Uh, uh, her English is so good. Mm -hmm. And this one. The hotel was uh, the hotel was such a long way. Okay, hotel, 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 hotel. So hotel, the hotel was such a long way. Mm -hmm. The hotel was such a long way. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording.